upper receiver is in the vice block, so that keeps it stable and keeps it from getting scratched. I've already pushed the barrel in. See how the barrel has that lug that goes in there? Mm -hmm. So that's part of the barrel. That's the barrel. And then this is the receiver. It's the threads on the receiver. And I've already put some anti-seize on there so that it screws in easily. So, first thing we have to do is put this barrel nut on there. The barrel nut holds this all together. And then the handguard will mount to this. I've already kind of tightened it and then loosened it just to get the barrel seated well in there. So what I need you to do is push on this. Okay, look, it's starting to get tight. Okay, so let me see if I can get a little bit on there. I can feel for about 40 here. double check that. So the next thing we need to do is the gas tube. This is the gas block. This is an adjustable gas block and I have already marked, see that pencil mark right mm -hmm. over the center of that hole? Right over the center, centered with this hole. So this will go over here and we'll line those things up. Okay, so the, the first thing we have to do we're going to have to see this hole right here that goes through the solid part of this gas tube lines up right there with that and see how that hole is down lines up with this so those two things right there line this up and see how you can see through there see the hole mm -hmm. no hole hole okay, so we're all lined up got it ready to hammer so hammer Started now. And so this should line up with this. So slide that into that hole right there. Hold this in and kind of guide it in. Hold the other end and guide it in there. Okay. And when it flushes up, then all we got to do is we got to check our alignment on this. Let me rotate this thing back out so it can get a little bit better light underneath. Better? Can you see it under there? It should be straight. And it should be tied up against here, so that's our rim, and it's perfectly centered, so we've got our marks lined up again, yep, okay, so all I'm going to do is put a little pressure on it so it doesn't move, so. okay, and straight look down through there, are squared up. So in order to make it easier to get to those, I'm just going to put this in upside down. Hmm? I, want you to finish. I want you to tighten these down. Not all the way. We'll get it pretty tight. This way? Right. Is that good? You should get to a point where it kind of stops. And look at this. See, we're snug in here. We're tight here. Do that one, and then what I'll do is I'll put a little blue Loctite on here. We'll back one out, put some blue Loctite on it, and then we'll 
put that to back the other one out put some on it, okay? Okay. Um, back out one of those. Use your Allen key to back out one. Put a little blue lock tight on it. Yeah. And we'll tighten it down. And then we'll take the other one out and put a little blue lock tight on it and tighten it. Make this one back in first. It's heat resistant. But it's and it holds it holds it in there and keeps it from backing out, but it's not permanent. So up here, screw that one back in and we'll unscrew the other one. Second one now. See how it kind of spreads around the threads. Yeah. So that's enough to lock it into the threads on this and get it hand started so we don't strip it in. Okay. So. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I'll just snug it down a little bit. Again, I'm not trying to go crazy with this because we don't want to put a ton of pressure. We just want it to be snug. It'll be tight. It's tight. Okay. So that's those two pieces. So now we've got receiver, barrel, the gas block, and the gas tube. So now we've got firing, Recycling so that the bulk carrier group is pushed. The screws, those screws fit into this slot right here. These are tensioning screws. You got one over here and two on this side. So we just slide that over. So we want to make sure we got our clearance. I've already kind of loosely kind of put it together. What we're trying to do is get this lined up on here. Another thing that this does, see how this handrail goes back to here? This pin that goes all the way through that holds the dust cover on, that keeps it in there because this has just got one little like C-clip on this side, doesn't have anything on this side, so in order to take that off of there, you have to take the handrail off. So what are we doing? Huh? What are we doing? Shooting with the AR I built. Trying to sight it in? Uh -huh. So here's the AR. It's the Seekin Precision's brake and the Seekin's Precision adjustable gas port. A 2A gas tube, 20 inch, 223 wild. This is Faxon. 1 8 twist match 416 stainless uh, that's the original that's my core lower that has the chip mccormick trigger in it it has a let's see rise armament bolt carrier group the worn mount with the zeiss uh, one to four conquest 
and uh, Strike Industries will be our charging handle. So here is the man who built and the first shot. Right here and pull the bag in and hold your shoulder tight like that. That'll raise and lower it, okay? Okay. Yep. Okay, we got it zeroed between the two of us. He took several shots after we got it. It's a little bit right of center, but I'm going to hold there. Take a few more test shots, clean the bore again, and uh, save it for another trip. Okay, we'll check out that group. So like I said, it's it's a little bit right. I'll get that adjusted back, but that's uh that's a, a five shot group right there. So, you know, even just breaking it in with Winchester white box, this uh this barrel, this gun's got some promise. I think I'm gonna like this fax and barrel once it kind of mellows in. Of course we're just shooting Winchester 55 grain 556 five, white box stuff just to kind of break it in. So break it down, clean the bore out again. He went back in just because the bugs are really biting bad right now, but I'm really proud of him that he helped me do this and listened and learned. And if you ever get a chance to do anything where you share anything like this, gun related, uh, life experience stuff, take advantage of it. Man, this was so much fun doing this with him. Thanks.